Hey everyone, Jim Midnight Road Garage. What we've got here is a C4 that cranks but won't start. Time to do some troubleshooting. So, I guess I kind of cheated a little bit and I already know what's wrong with this thing. I already did some troubleshooting. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what I found and what I'm going to do to fix it just to see if we can get this thing running. Uh, this is uh, ostensibly a parts car or uh, you know a super project for someone it does have a title so but anyways let me show you what's going on uh, right back here so I checked to see if it would run by putting a little bit of gasoline past the uh, throttle body and uh, it fired so that tell, told me that you know we had uh, it, that it was firing and it would run um, so it was probably uh, a problem with the fuel pump now when I came to look at the fuel pump this had already been messed with by someone as you can see they busted this they busted this the fuel door uh, they tried to take it apart and they didn't they didn't do a very good job uh, so what it's supposed to look like is it's kind of like that then you lift this up take a couple bolts out over there and there Then you can get this guy out, which they kind of pried out, which gets you to the top of the gas tank and uh, the fuel pump. So the fuel pump wiring is right here. And so it looks like they may have replaced the fuel pump at one point, but uh, we're not concerned with that because what we're doing is troubleshooting. So what you want to do here is go ahead and uh, disconnect this guy. So to save some time in the troubleshooting process, because this is, is already clearly jacked up, um, instead, of, instead of checking the relay and the fuse, I'm just going to go ahead and check for power here and see if this is working the way it's supposed to. First thing we want to do is we're going to take our test light and we're going to check it and make sure it works. And uh, the easiest way to do that is I just happen to have a battery here. And as you see, it lights up. So we know our test light is good. So going to the fuel pump, the wires we're concerned with are the black wire and then this uh, kind of tan brown uh, with a white uh, stripe wire. So what we're going to do is, and you can do this just with the test light, but for video, I'm hooking uh, some alligator clips to the power wire. This is the power wire. I'm going to hook an alligator clip to the ground wire. And then I'm just going to hook up the ground there. Let me just get that so you guys can see the light. And now I'm going to crank the engine and uh, see if we have a light. Okay, so quick primer on how this should work. If I turn the key to the run position, this should this light should light up briefly. And what that does is it applies power to the electric fuel pump and it then pressurizes the system so that when you go to actually start the car, the uh, fuel injectors have, have fuel pressure on them and the car starts. So, but it'll only do that for a moment. Otherwise, it'll burn up the motor if you were just put it in the run and listen to the radio or something. Uh, when it's cranking, though, we should see it lit all the time so when you test one of these what you're looking for is for it to light up briefly and then when you're cranking you're looking for it to be lit up the entire time so let's see what happens okay there it is in the run position you see the lights on and then it went out now i'm going to crank it and it should come back on and as you can see it came on while i was cranking it so we know now that what's wrong with this C4 is it has a bad uh, fuel pump. And I happen to have one. So let's replace it. So to take this out, it looks like we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver for these clamps here. These are probably the wrong clamps. Um, and then we're going to need, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose for this. And then it looks like these guys are probably 10s. So let me get started taking these out. Okay, the fuel lines are off. Now it's uh, time to take the uh, 10 millimeters out. All the bolts are out. 
now. I just gotta work it out of here. And there we have it. Now we can replace that fuel pump. And whoo, thing's nasty. And you guys don't want to smell that when I'm smelling that gas is pretty gross. Uh, this is a parts car, so I'm not going to worry really about this gasoline. But if this was your car you were working on and it smelled like this, uh, you should probably pump all that gas out of there um, and dispose of it the proper way. Okay, so here's the new pump. This is a uh, $22 unit from Amazon, but uh, it should work fine. And uh, it came with, see it came with a new little pre-filter. Um, probably not as nice as the one that's on it. However, as you can see, there's crap on this one, so we will not be reusing this. Uh, it also came with, this also came with these. This is for a, a conventional, more conventional gas tank, uh, not like this one. Uh, so if you <clears throat> if you were doing a really nice uh, Corvette and not a parts car like this one, you probably want to get a new gasket. And they sell kits specifically for C4s that come with this, and might be a little bit nicer, a little nicer pump. But this is uh, this is you know a, a cheap. It's literally twenty two dollars on Amazon, and uh, for my purposes, it's just fine. This is, uh, I just want this car running. Uh, so the next owner knows that it runs. If they want to put a nicer fuel pump in it, they can. But uh, anyways, let me disassemble this. So the first thing I need to do is take these two off so I can move this hose out of the way. And I should be able to pull the pump out. This also needs to come off. It should just pull off or twist off. Uh, the new one is, is definitely just to kind of press on. Okay, fuel pump's out. I'm just gonna take uh, all of this and put all of this, all this rubber on uh, on the new pump. This keeps it from uh, vibrating and making lots of noise. Kind of keeps it quiet. And uh, don't worry about the paint on this. Uh, the clear coat's already shot. It doesn't really matter. On your car, you should probably do this on a workbench. So just like that, this did come with a new piece of hose, so uh, I'm probably going to use that. This one is, seems pretty shot. I'll go ahead and reuse the clamps though, doesn't seem to be anything wrong with them. Now you can see that, a little nasty, I'm sure is the original hose. They replaced this pump at one time but didn't replace the hose. that is in. Go ahead and pick up that wire. Get that out a little bit. This is just squeeze fit. You should replace these. Came with one, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. It's slightly different, but uh, just hoping it works. Okay, that is all the way on. All right, wires in. This is on. Now we're gonna go ahead and feed it back in.
sure you get your gasket back in place. So you can see lines are back on, the uh, bolts back in. So we're ready to uh, fire this guy up. Got this guy connected. Let's give it a shot. A little bit further in the car. This car was a bargain. Well, that's a wrap on this little project, and uh, I'm glad this thing's running. That uh, makes it worth a couple more dollars, which is uh, good news because I could always use the cash around here. So, uh, see y'all later.